Issue 3. Will four Las Vegas-style casinos really bring thousands of new Ohio jobs? Don't bet on it, according to Gary Macri of Niagara Falls, New York. All you got to do is drive around that casino and you'll see. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Go down 4th Street, 5th Street, and that's right next to the casino. A ghetto. Gary Macri's family has been in the restaurant business here for 60 years. His grandmother made pasta by hand using the freshest ingredients. She passed this on to Gary's mom, Ann, who still works in the kitchen today using the family's historic recipes. We make our sauce fresh every day. Then the Seneca Niagara Casino opened in 2003 and expanded in 2005, opening the largest hotel in New York State outside of Manhattan. At the beginning, everybody thought it was the second coming of, uh, you know, gold dust or whatever. And everybody, I, I, I probably got caught in that trap too. According to the website CasinoWatch.org, 75% of Atlantic City small businesses closed their doors after casinos opened theirs. It looked quite the same in Niagara Falls. Macri's saw their customers dry up right away. You know, people were going to the casino and they thought it was the greatest thing on earth. And, you know, they're gambling their money. So they're taking their, their pocket money away from, you know, people spending money, you know, they go out and have dinner, they might go to the casino and blow 100 bucks. So we can't go out to dinner this week, you know. Macri's restaurant had been successful in their city market location for more than 30 years. My restaurant was three times the size of this place. We had banquets, we had everything, and it, and it just started declining right after that. Macri's is in its second location since the casino shut them down. Their new home is in Lewiston, a quaint tourist town far enough away from the casino, they hope. Macri's went from more than 30 employees in Niagara Falls to half that in Lewiston, a net loss of 15 plus jobs. And in their city market location today, the Knights of Columbus, a nonprofit run by volunteers paying no taxes to the city of Niagara Falls. According to Mama Macri, the casino was a tough competitor. They give them drinks, they give them food, they give them uh, points and you couldn't compete. There's no way you can compete. And according to Niagara Falls developer and activist Frank Parlato, Macri's is just one of many small businesses shuttered by the casino competition. Here in Niagara Falls, you go take a look at our yellow pages of five or six years ago when the casino was new and you compare this section under nightclubs and restaurants and you will see a shocking thing. We probably lost 30 restaurants and nightclubs in the local area around the casino. And what we gained in its stead was eight or nine restaurants or nightclubs within the casino complex with a net loss of um, almost two dozen businesses. Restaurant after restaurant, bar after bar, closed their doors. In many cases, nothing new is opening in their place. Further proof that Ohio Issue 3 is a job killer. Some entrepreneurs had high hopes of rising with the casino tide. Cafe, etc. opened after the casino. Today, they're closed. Shadow, an upscale martini bar, opened too. They're gone. And just last year, Niagara Falls favorite Tommy Ryan's closed their doors after decades of serving locals and tourists alike. They have, they have all sorts of food in there too, different types of food. So they're, they're a competition for American food, Italian food, just snacks, hot dogs. They, they try to glom all of the different types of food. And there's a lot of local business people here, you know, they're all just families just trying to make a living and it definitely competes with us. It makes it hard. But it's not just restaurants and bars. Downstream suppliers like Cataract Foods were shuttered too. Never gave him any business. Local guy right down the street. And he tried and tried and never gave him any business. Even the Rainbow Mall, a popular outlet destination for tourists and Western New York shoppers alike, sits empty today in the shadow of the casino, a victim of dried up discretionary income because, according to Professor John Warren Kent of the University of Illinois, Gamblers cut back on other expenditures in the community to play at casinos. Bottom line, if an Ohio business isn't within the casino footprint, it is doomed. 
because casinos are designed to capture customers and not let them go until their entertainment dollars are all gone. Casino's object is to get you in and keep you there. You eat, you drink, you sleep, and gamble. That's their object. And I don't care what anybody tells you, that's the truth. Macri's is hoping their grand opening this month, far away from the casino, will do well. And judging from their dining room, the locals love their homemade food. But Mama Macri has sage advice for the 204,000 small businesses of Ohio employing 2.3 million Buckeyes. Tell your children not to vote for a casino because the area will just die. It will. Your business will go right along with it. In Niagara Falls, New York, this is Truth Pack reporting on Ohio Issue 3. A bad deal for Ohio. Vote no on Issue 3 on November 3rd.